My name is Martin and this is our company, Jack Frost Freeze Prevention Systems Limited. We're here in Willowfield Road, Valnamoral, County Leitrim. And we make a freeze prevention system to ensure that your water pipes will not freeze. If they are buried under the concrete, under your garden, under your shed or your yard, we have a system that you can insert inside the pipe to ensure that it will no longer freeze. This is heat tress wire. It's heat tress wire with a difference. It's heat tress wire that you can insert inside of your water pipe. It's approved for use in drinking water and meets all EU directives for safety. Both of these wires are for use in Irish plumbing systems. Basically what heat tress wire is, is a resistance wire. As current passes through it, it gets warm. So the problem that most people have is that the concrete coming up to their house has a pipe under it, the pipe carrying the water from the road, and it's not very deep enough. In the very severe winters that we had last year and the year before, your water pipes froze. You have an option. You can dig it up and bury it deeper, or we have a better solution. You can use this system. Basically, your water pipe is coming up under your sink. You turn it off at the road and you cut the pipe. Then we give you this fitting. It's a special Y fitting, which rejoins the pipe together again. You can imagine the pipe being joined together. And here, coming out of this side of it, we have a space where we can push the wire through. Basically, this fitting comes apart. Inside of the fitting, there are a number of small components. One of them is a little rubber seal. The wire basically goes through each of those components. First of all, this to fill out here, to squeeze it in, then a, a washer, then the little rubber fits on around it there with a little split in it because sometimes it can be hard to push up on it, so you split it in and put it around it. Then you put it through here, and then if we can imagine this is under your sink, you can insert the wire right in and all the way down through the pipe. Once you've pushed it out all the way, and it's come out right the way through, underneath your garden, underneath your concrete, underneath your footpath, you've got it right out as far as the mains connection to the road, get a little bit of plumbing tape, and you seal up this guy here onto it, like so. You push the rubber in there, then the washer and the fitting goes in, and you use the tools to tighten that tightly. And it's a seal joint that will not leak. You simply put this wire on to a frost stat. There's two different types of frost stats. With this frost stat here, which is under your sink in your house, it is a probe from it, which will go out through the wall and read the temperature outside. You set the frost stat for freezing, minus five, whatever setting you want to put on it. And then your system will only come on when it freezes. You simply take the second wire from the frost stat, your three pin plug and plug it in. No more frozen pipes. This is called the ice guard, the Jack Frost ice guard system. It has many, many uses. You can use it inside your water pipe, or you can use it on the outside of your water pipe. For instance, in your attic, where all your pipes are running up and down the length of your attic, you simply tape this wire, this wire to the bottom side of each pipe. All the way along towards your hot water pipes and cold water pipes. You use this aluminium tape. It is also available on the website. You simply tape it. Every foot or 18 inches you put a piece of tape and connect the wire to the pipe. Then you insulate it using Armaflex self seal insulation to ensure that you trap the heat tightly around the pipe. You bring it up and down along every pipe in your attic. Then you bring it to a frost stat, just an ordinary frost stat, which you can screw up to one of the rafters plug it in and no more frozen pipes. When you come to the water tank in your attic, you can put a couple of metres of this wire just down into the water tank. Just like that, drop them into it and then continue it out the other side and on as far as you need to go. Another application for this ice guard wire is in the farmyard. We have a lot of interest from farmers. Where they have slatted houses, a lot of cattle, no water, huge problem. Milk and parlours, similar problem. This wire, you simply tape it to every pipe along your slatted house, right the way along the roof, just as that piece of ducting is running along there. Pipe run down to a drinker. You tape it along it, drop it down, loop it back up, run it on the next one, drop it down, run it right along, until you have every pipe with this wire taped to it. Then you insulate it using Armaflex self-seed insulation. You 
bring it to a frost stat, and you plug it in, and no more frozen pipes in your slatted house. If the pipe coming into the slatted house, under the concrete, is coming up like so, that part of it coming up out of the concrete may freeze. So you can use this fitting before you tape it to the rest of the pipes that are exposed, put on the fitting, insert some of the wire down inside the pipe to ensure that it will not freeze and its entry into your slatted house. Similar in your milk and parlour, in any of your farm buildings, pubs, restaurants, anywhere where there's water that is in danger of freezing, you can use this wire taped to the outside of exposed pipes and insulated to ensure that it will not freeze. It's called the Jack Frost Ice Guard and it's available on the website jackfrost.ie. The Ice Guard wire has the only one disadvantage. It's 5mm in diameter, which is quite large, particularly considering in Ireland most of the pipes on entry into domestic houses is half inch, half inch heavy gauge. When we insert this wire inside of a half inch pipe, it takes up approximately one third of the area of the pipe. Now that may inhibit the flow of water into a domestic dwelling, where you need good pressure and good water volume for dishwashers, washing machines, power showers. So we designed a second wire, this one here. It's called the Jack Frost Warm Wire. It's specifically designed for Irish conditions and Irish pipes. It's only 2mm by 3mm. It's a Teflon coated wire, which means it is also approved for use in drinking water. It inserts inside your pipe the very same way. Your water pipe is coming up inside your kitchen. You cut the pipe, you join it with the special fitting that we provide. Again, the rubber seal and system is here to, to seal it. The wire simply inserts through that system, right the way down. Through the pipe, under the footpath, under the driveway, under the garden, all the way out to the mains pipe at the road. You can get it in up to 50 metres or longer on order. Once the pipe is fitted, the wire is fitted into the pipe, you simply seal it using the rubber seal. It tightens tight around it and won't allow it to move. The other side of the wire is plugged into this. This is a transformer box. It simply comes with an end like so on it, which plugs into the box. Depending on the length of wire you need, depends on the size of transformer box which we provide. So it is made to order. If your requirements is 25 meters, we make a box which has a transformer in it which works for a 25 meter wire to produce the optimum heat. This box is then plugged into the mains and also attached to the box is a thermostat with a probe. You bore a hole in your wall, in your kitchen, allow the probe outside to the atmosphere, seal the hole using some silicone and turn this to probably minus two, zero degrees, wherever you want. This box will only come on when the temperature falls, stays on when it rises by three degrees. No more frozen pipes and you have full water pressure in your system. The Jack Frost warm wire system is available on the website jackfrost.ie. You need to order it now because if you wait until the morning you go out when the roof of your car is glistening with frost, you could be too late because we have to make it to order. So you need to give us two weeks to get it out to you. A lot of people have asked many questions as to how the system works. Basically both wires are resistance wires. As current passes through them, they heat up. People ask then how hard are they on power. Both of them are approximately 8 watts per meter. So in other words if you have 10 meters it's the same as an 80 watt bulb turned on. If you have 30 meters it's the same as, a 24, as 240 watts. Now a 100 watt bulb turned on for 12 hours uses one unit of electricity which is approximately 18 cent. So if you have 10 meters of this wire, it'll cost you less than 18 cent to run for 12 hours. If you have 100 meters of this wire, in your shed, in your factory, wherever you're trying to prevent your pipes from freezing, it'll cost you less than 180 in 12 hours. It costs less than phoning the plumber if the pipe was burst. Another question that people often ask is how do you get it inside the pipe, particularly over a long journey? That can be an issue, but a plumber or electrician or people in the trade have many knacks to do so. One of them is to blow a wire through it. 
In other words, they bore a very small hole in the top of the pipe and they get a compressor, open it on the other end and blow a little cork through it which has a piece of fishing line attached to it. Once that gets to the other end, you then have a line you can use to pull the wire through. But you'd only need that if you're going to distances of over 30 or 40 metres. You can also use a product called fish tape, which plumbers and electricians use regularly to get it into the pipe. There's always a way of getting the wire into the pipe that's easier than digging up your concrete yard or your driveway. Jackfrost.ie is where you get all of these products. They're available online. Buy them now before the weather turns bad. And they're made here in Ballinamore and County Leitrim. Another question often asked is, can you cut the wire or join it? And the answer is very clearly no. Resistance wire is made to a particular resistance. We send it to you, it's made and sealed, so that it will not absorb the moisture through the end joint. You cannot cut it, you cannot join it. You must measure accurately the distance you need. So the length of wire you need will be the same as the length of pipe that you have from underneath your sink or your hot press or wherever is the first place it enters your house. And from there, out to the mains, you measure it accurately, give yourself a little bit over, a metre or two to spare is no harm, but certainly don't be short. Once we get that measurement, we make up the warm wire system to suit that length. The other wire, the Jack, the Jack Frost ice guard wire, similarly cannot be cut or joined. It comes in specific lengths. So you can get it in 20 metres, 25 metres, up to 135 metres. Jack Frost warm wire and Jack Frost ice guard are both available online from jackfrost.ie.